Hello, this is uh, Salazar Stenberg and this is an ASL lesson. We are teaching XY text how to use it in Second Life. XY text it can be very useful to show textual information like signs, agenda, calendars, boards and very essential during meetings, conferences, classes. Uh, it can also be used to have a blog in Word. The first thing you need to have this uh, blue box where the content and materials of the lessons are kept. You have to touch it and keep the folder. Then you can go to the inventory and you can see that you have the folder where you can open the readme and uh, Having it open, you can follow. At the very basic of XY text, there is the prim setup. You need to have a special prim offering three faces or more to us, so we can put the letters in it, saving space. This prim is specially crafted and has special characteristics. You can see in the property that, and uh, here you see an example of a special other prism crafted so to show to the observer five faces. This is very important because you can really save a lot of prims since on every face you can have a pair of uh, characters. And now we see how to properly build a prism in an automated way. You have to create your box and then it's very simply you have to go in your inventory and fetch the proper script that is able to automatically set up it. We have one already, it is XY text prim. Hmm? You have to look it in your inventory and just drag on the object and as you see the object is automatically set up and the script is deleted from the from the inventory of the box because it is no more needed. We now have a small look at the script. Yeah, you can see that uh, uh, the only thing we have we are setting up the properties and setting proper textures and at the end we are removing the script. Now to make it work we must go into this prim, go into content and found out the slave script which is the actual effective engine doing the text process. We are not going to investigate in it because it's a bit complex. We are now going to have a client script. So we open this cell and open the note card doing a new script. We name it uh, a bit properly. Just to say we are doing our first uh, uh, script. And we are going to remove the default script and to put instead an, uh, a script which is doing something more interesting. So we are copying it. Pasting it in the... And uh, look, uh, that is very simple. It has just uh, two lines. The first line is writing a first word, then slips 10 seconds and then write a second word. And now we are going to do something a bit more complex. We start with the box and prepare with the print setup with five characters 
per prim so it's a bit different than before this is another script okay you see it is a bit different it's uh, more flat than before because it's uh, after we set up the prim we put the slave in the prim the engine able to make it work as we expected and then we will uh, build an array of uh, four elements layered in two rows okay you see we are going to use the grid we are copying and we can do it quite easily now we must to link all these uh, four cells in a link set but we must be sure that they must be they are properly ordered so we link from the latest to the first at the top so we are sure that the top one is what we need now we are putting the actual script we want to use this is a script which is simply saying to each other prims which line they belong and the next instructions are to set uh, effectively the first line of text and the second line of text after this script has been set as you can see we are displaying effectively a kind of board here we are with the first lesson on using XY text for further information you can go to the wiki and have all the information from the original creator and the next lesson will explain how it's using XY Z, which is better than XY text.